Now this might sound crazy, but for the past year, I've been drinking four gallons of raw milk every week, um, consistently every week. And uh, I've loved every sip I've taken and I've noticed tons of health benefits and improvements from drinking it. And this is a very controversial video because raw milk is considered one of the most dangerous foods that you can consume. And there's a lot of people who are skeptical about raw milk claiming that it's no different than pasteurized milk. So if you're skeptical, you came to the right video as I'll be diving into the science, the research, and my own experience with raw milk to see if maybe this food deserves a place in everyone's fridge. So to start off, for those who don't know, what is raw milk? Raw milk is unpasteurized and unhomogenized milk. Most of the milk you find in conventional grocery stores goes through a process of pasteurization and homogenization. When milk is pasteurized, it's heated to a certain temperature for a certain amount of time where it's meant to kill most of the foodborne illnesses that might be inside of raw milk. And the homogenization is a process that the milk goes through to basically make the fat particles smaller so that way it mixes with the milk. If you let regular milk stand still, you'll see a separation in the fat rise to the top. In the 1900s, as people in the United States migrated from rural areas to cities, milk from cows had to be transported longer distances and stored at higher temperatures than before. And as a consequence, milk-borne outbreaks accounted for about 25% of all disease outbreaks. So in 1987, the FDA passed a regulation that would basically mandate almost all milk to be pasteurized to prevent these outbreaks from happening. And since then, almost every milk that you find in grocery stores usually goes through pasteurization and homogenization. However, there have been some states like California that have passed some regulations allowing the sale of raw milk in grocery stores. And then there also are some states that allow it directly uh, uh, from like a farmer where you could go to the farm or go to a farmer's market and purchase it there. And there are some states that completely ban it. It is illegal in these states and the people that drink raw milk there, I always picture like some dude in a car like driving up to a house and like, they're looking around and then he like pulls out the milk and he's like, oh, you got the good stuff. And it's like this illegal transaction. Now I do think that the pasteurization was a good thing for society during that period of time. Um, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to drink any milk that's been sitting out in hot temperatures or transported in unsafe ways so it makes sense however we've started to learn more about pasteurized milk and the dangers that it has on our body and we even start to see a large trend of people not drinking any milk at all and opting for nut milks or almond milks or stuff like that but those also have came out being potentially harmful for our bodies so the argument to bring raw milk back in society has been a popular trend over the recent years and more and more people are trying to drink raw milk versus conventional milk and noticing benefits from doing so. Speaking of which, let me take this inside because I don't wanna get sick. Now for a long time, I was against drinking milk. Uh, pasteurized milk did not work for me. I didn't feel good when I drank it. And I also followed many different diets. I was vegan for a little bit. I tried paleo, keto, we could go down the whole list. And it wasn't until about a year and a half ago that someone told me about raw milk and I decided to give it a shot. But I definitely was a little sketched out. It felt weird. I'm like, am I gonna get sick? Is it gonna taste weird? All of these things. After I had that half gallon, I fell in love. <laughs> I really like the way that it made me feel. And on top of that, it tastes delicious. It doesn't have a weird flavor. It's probably the best tasting milk that you can get. Here, Cal, I'm coming be in my video. Uh, 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 <laughs> Cal, what's your, what are your thoughts on raw milk? Um, it's delicious. Tastes, it, it, yeah. it tastes good. It tastes, it, tastes, better. it tastes extremely good. I mean, having like full fat raw milk, it's like one of the best things ever. Yeah. I think that it's super nutritious. It like, you know, fills you up satiates you, makes you feel good. Raw milk contains every known fat and water-soluble vitamin in a bioavailable form. Fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K are especially unstable, particularly when heated above body temperature, which can cause a loss of over 66% of these vitamins. Raw milk contains every known essential mineral, with the major players being calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, and sulfur. It also contains 24 vital trace minerals that are all bioavailable. Although minerals can't be destroyed when they're heated, um, they can become unstable and lose a lot of their potency. As an example, calcium loses 50% of its potency when it's heated. Calcium is what strong bones and teeth are all about. All 60 known enzymes are found 
intact and fully functioning in raw milk. Raw milk contains all 22 amino acids, including eight essential amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. And one of the enzymes in raw milk that's super interesting is this thing called lactase. When you pasteurize milk, you lose this enzyme known as lactase, which is meant to help break down lactose. So people believe that this may be why individuals who cannot digest pasteurized milk can digest raw milk just fine although it still depends upon your body and your biology. But I know for myself, pasteurization does not work for me, but the raw stuff does. And the list could go on. Raw milk really is a superfood. It has so many bioavailable forms of nutrients inside of it that are vital for us as we're trying to be healthy and considering that a lot of our food in the modern day world, basically since the 1940s, has been losing its nutrient density Incorporating nutrient-dense food, whether it's milk or other forms of food, might be important for getting your health back on track. And the last piece I wanna quickly go over is homogenization. The homogenization in milk is actually pretty scary. The pistons, they pump a very narrow opening. The whole purpose of it, like I said in the beginning of this video, is to make the fat particle smaller so it mixes with the milk and it doesn't separate. And the process that it goes through to do this strips away the structure of the milk. And we have a lot of evidence that shows that because the fat particles become smaller than they should be, it can uh, leak into the gut barrier and the bloodstream and cause things like leaky gut or other health problems. Now the elephant in the room, the ultimate question that everyone wants to know, is raw milk safe? Or am I gonna get some crazy illness or even just diarrhea from drinking it or whatever the case is, is it safe to consume? Now the safety of raw milk depends upon a lot of different variables. You need a farm that you trust. You need to make sure that they practice good sanitization, et cetera. Um, refrigerate it right, don't drink it if it expires, stuff like that. But we've definitely been misled as far as how dangerous milk is, especially in the modern day world with the practices we do have. It was believed that raw milk was 150 times more dangerous than traditional milk. However, the data actually shows that it's about 9.4% more dangerous or more likely to get sick than pasteurized milk. Now, 9.4% might sound like a lot, but when you actually look at it, it's a very small amount. If you have 0.00011% chance of getting sick from drinking pasteurized milk and a 9.4 times greater risk of getting sick from drinking raw milk, we're still talking about a minuscule risk of 0.00106%. And then if you actually look at hospitalization caused from raw milk, you have a one in six million chance of getting hospitalized, not dying, but just hospitalized from drinking raw milk. No, hey, no. Hello. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> We're on camera. Yeah. We're gonna go buy some raw milk. You're more likely to die in a car driving to get your raw milk than you are to just be hospitalized, not death, but hospitalized from raw milk. Now you still have to do your due diligence. Um, consult your doctor, speak with farmers, ensure that they're practicing safe milk. Start off small, don't go ham, don't go straight to four gallons or even a gallon a week. Um, start off small. Now let's talk about my personal experience, why I drank four gallons um, a week, what do I recommend, and my overall experiences when it comes to health incorporating this food into my diet. Now I noticed a ton of different benefits overall um, when it came to my health. I think anytime you consume like a nutrient dense source of food, you're gonna see benefits in everywhere because you're getting more nutrients in your body. But the specific things I noticed with milk, um, even drinking like one or two gallons a week, um, was increase in muscle mass and being able to gain and maintain muscle better. That's actually been a problem in my life. I was super skinny growing up um, and couldn't maintain muscle. So that's good to see that this food was giving me what I needed. I also felt a lot more energized. I felt like I could pull from more things in my body than I could before, which was really cool. And I loved the productivity aspect of it. I do love cooking food. I do love preparing food. Um, it's actually one of the highlights of my day, but sometimes when I'm in a productivity mood, I don't wanna be bothered with cooking food. And then I just saw an overall increase in health. I've been sleeping better, feeling better overall um, in many different areas. And I would recommend starting off small, half a gallon or a gallon a week, 
see how you feel. Um, I think that's a very reasonable amount that will give you a lot of good nutrients in your body. And anything past that just depends upon personal goals that you might have. Um, but just know that you can do it safely. Like you can drink a lot of milk and actually be completely fine. Um, but too much of anything that eat, that is good can be a bad thing as well. So just keep that in mind. And as of lately, I decided to cut back from four gallons and move to three. And I plan to also move it probably down to like two gallons a week, um, just to ensure that most of my calories that I'm getting are from nutrient dense foods, but that I'm actually chewing and cutting and cooking because I think that's important. Now, if you're still skeptical about drinking raw milk, that's totally fine. Um, do whatever you want. I know people that love it like myself and I know people that have tried it and they're like, yeah, hey, I think I'm good. Um, so it's not for everyone, but for some people, it's really beneficial for their health, like myself. Um, so I recommend to give it a shot, of course, consult your doctor, but give it a shot, see how you feel. Um, worst case scenario, you now know one more thing about yourself that you didn't know before. And best case scenario, you might find something that really benefits your health and also tastes delicious. Yum.